Locked inside this hermetically sealed, soundproof chamber here at the University of Georgia, they're involved in some very special research. They're researching sweaty palms. Sweaty use. palms isn't a problem that would rank next to cancer, but for more people than most of us realize, it's a major embarrassing problem. Dr. Avram Silvers of the psychology department is trying to do something about it. By using a polygraph, a lie detector, he's measuring the amount of perspiration on his subject's palms in hopes of determining what kind of person is a chronic palm sweater. That there are people out there who have what we call a palm sweating problem. Um, all of us have our palms sweat from time to time, but we're talking about individuals who have this problem all the time. As a matter of fact, some of them even can't sleep because of the problem. They will get up in the middle of the night and discover that their palms are very sweaty. So we're talking about people who walk around with this sweaty palm um, problem all the time, and those are the people we're trying to help. A subject is wired and told to sit quietly in a soundproof sealed booth. Then the lights are switched off. While you sit in darkness, a doctor plays a series of tones through a speaker. The polygraph records your reactions while the tones pop up unexpectedly. It's a lot of effort, but is it worth it? If you speak to the people who have this problem, uh, they'll tell you that they have difficulty, for instance, on dates very often um, holding uh, the female's hand or holding the male's hand is a problem. Uh, what about the job interview where you have to shake someone's hand? Uh, they are just constantly plagued with the fact of trying to wipe off the sweat from their hand and very often walk into these situations um, rather anxious, rather upset. So for these people it's a very serious problem. After Dr. Silvers tracks down what causes okay. some people to be plagued by this sweaty palms, he hopes to come up with a cure. Most likely, it won't be classified as an earth-shaking discovery, but you never can that, tell. Ten tones. Now, you wouldn't classify sweaty palms as a very serious problem. That is, unless you happen to be a person who had that problem. And then Dr. Silvers' research would be very important to you. From the University of Georgia, I'm Andy Johnston.